Hi, I'm Ron Fletcher, believe it or not. And um, I'm here to talk about the mat work, the original Joe Pilatus body contrology mat work. I think it's a wonderful piece of work, and uh, I mean, a, a wonderful program, a whole, a wonderful uh, um, whole series of, of, of body movements on the, on the mat called mat work. And uh, as a matter of fact, I, I insist that every studio where the Ron Fletcher work is taught, or let's say featured, or uh, along with a Pilatus body contrology, um, that, that the original mat work is taught, in addition to uh, whatever else we teach. So the mat work is quite wonderful. I learned it from Joe originally. Uh, it was the same work that the, the old timers, um, there aren't very many of us uh, still ambulatory that, uh, that worked with, with Joe, that learned it from Joe. And Joe was a tough teacher when he, and he, he the only thing that I found uh, tough, what was tough for me, was that I was not accustomed to working so fast. And he did, he did, he did, he moved very, very fast and kind of, in a, in a totally different uh, way than I, than I, than I worked as a, as, a, as a dancer. Not that I couldn't move fast, but I needed more time. My, I felt that my body needed more time to experience what it was going through. But the mat work itself, uh, done, done in a, uh, just in a, a continuously from one thing moved to the other, was really excellent. And I, I think now, uh, and some of the people, some of the very people who fuss that I don't teach the mat work, uh, they don't really understand the mat work. I've, I've watched them, and it's not the same. I mean, we teach the mat work at least with the very, very uh, straight legs, uh, pointed, pointed feet. Uh, I remember, uh, of course, I, I follow the, the, old, the old saying, your feet have two positions, they, they need to be pointed or they needed to be flexed. And anything in between there, you just have something, I, I said it hangs at the end of your ankle like a dead fish. And uh, the foot has got to have energy, it's got to have power, it's got to have strength. That's, that's, where, the, that's where the power comes up from. And um, so th the feet were very important and, uh, and, and were stressed in the mat work. Uh, the positioning of the legs, uh, the mat itself, uh, where, where the handles were that you held in the back. Um, the, the whole thing was very, very good. And the strap at the bottom, I remember very clearly getting your foot under there. And you had to have a, flex, a flexed foot. You could not have a so-called soft toe. It had to be very strong to hold you in the position so that the other leg, which was very straight and very pointed, could make these circles circles, circling around, circling back the other way. And um, it was an ingenious uh, kind of workout, if you will. I put that in quotes because it's not a word, it's not a phrase I'm really crazy about. Uh, it, it, it reminds me more of a gym uh, mindset of a workout. However, it, you could call it a workout. Um, I, uh, when I started teaching it, uh, I, I did slow it down a little bit, and that's the way I like to have it done, and that's the way I try to promote it in, in or have it done in, uh, in our studios, our teachers, so that, the, so that the students coming in do not see just a, a um, what I call kind of a dumb movement uh, a thing of swing the leg, swing the leg, swing the leg, that, it, that the body is totally involved in it. The same kind of, um, of thing as if we were, when we talk about making plies or, or doing the floor work, the Ron Fletcher floor work, so that it flows, so that all the body is involved and it has time to feel, experience what it's doing. Um, the, the same thing of the, the core of the body, the center of the body, uh, the, the power, the holding on to the mat. I remember Joe saying, to me, uh, I talk about a bolt from the pubic bone back to the tailbone in, in all of our work, whether we're on the reformer, whether we're on 
the floor, whether we're on the spine corrector or whatever, that this bolt connects to the tailbone and lifts us and gives us power. And that the power is here, down low, the lowest part of, of, the, uh, of the belly in these deep, deep, deep pelvic muscles uh, that are down very low. And that the, the power comes from there. Uh, many people still don't understand that. I see them. They, they, if, they, if you don't do that, and I can remember Joe uh, putting his hand here, his fist, on, on the, uh, right on the pubic bone and pressing and saying, you, this has to press down. This has to connect with the, with the mat. So that when you're lying there and you have the handles in the back and your lower pelvis is down, that you're working from that center, you have the freedom. If you don't, if you let that loose, you can't, then the leg is going to be bent and the foot is going to be swinging around like some kind of dumb thing. So the same principles here apply, the same principles of body contrology, and it, it, it works for every bloody thing we do. And I keep saying every once in a while when we get, I'm working with an advanced group in a workshop and, uh, and I look and I say, that's, that's good what you're doing, but give me a little bit more um, stability. Give me a little bit more power coming from low in the belly. You have to be so conscious of that deep inner core of the body, low, low, low. And that's where the con the, my image brought me to the bolt that bolts the pubic bone back to the tailbone and gives the body stability to move from there. The, the limbs, the, uh, the turning the body to the side, whatever that that's there. So it is a very important part. The mat work is a very important part the ba of the basics of body contrology. And I was taught that by Joe and I did it for many, many years. I insist that it's taught in all my studios.